In the last weeks, after making the video on how to create mobile applications, I decided to do some practice by refactoring the application we've been building over the Avalonia series here on the channel. So I created a PR, started making a tiny change at a time, until I had a result that satisfied me. Changes include changing the namespace of the application to Avalonia Mia Dev, which sounds a little bit better. I added separate projects for the desktop and the mobile deployment, uh, which shared the same core project. I moved uh, all the projects under the SRC folder, just to respect standards. I switched back to the uh, Fluent theme because a Fluent Avalonia UI was giving me some issues uh, when deploying on mobile. And I also had to remove the splash screen because we were using the Fluent Avalonia one which means that in the future we need to implement the custom one we've seen in a previous video. And last but not least, I also simplified the editor config file. Now, uh, the advantage of using Avalonia is that we'll continue working on the core project. So C Sharp and XAML files, no matter the targeting platform. The core is uh, shared by the platform specific projects and everyone can run on either desktop or mobile environments based on their preferences. In the end, the visual experience should always be the same. A small note, if you're interested, of course, the items repeat a control from Avalonia was moved to a separate Avalonia package. Uh, so just be aware of this breaking change in case you update the Avalonia library to uh, version 11. And if you're curious to know more, I'll leave a link to the official PR in the video description. And that was all for this small update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.